प्लीज वेलकम द माइटी रेजवानी टैंक द लेटेस्ट स्काउट डीएलसी अवेलेबल टू परचेस नाउ इन स्नो रनर दिस लाइसेंस व्हीकल लुक्स लाइक अ मिलिट्री एडिशन ऑफ द टैंक एंड एज पर डेव्स दिस माइट बी द लास्ट स्काउट ऑफ द गेम फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रोज द एक्सटीरियर एंड इंटीरियर लुक्स प्रॉमिसिंग एंड डिटेल्ड the looks even better at night with what i think is the best light setup in the game the engine sound is also good yeah let me drive it for you due to its weight it feels planted on the road and provides good handling the suspension setup also help and it has good travel but sadly it doesn't fit well in snowmobile let's see a detailed comparison with other 4x4s and see where it stands yeah let's go now let's talk about the cons first and most disappointing you cannot attach a trailer to this truck second no top winch point making it difficult to load on trucks and third the carrying capacity of additional fuel and service parts is also less keeping in mind this truck cannot attach a trailer in addition to all these cons and despite having good power to weight ratio it literally sucks in the mud Let's compare the tank with the TUZ166, Scout 800, Hummer H2 and Chevrolet CK1500. All have the best engine installed with the SnowRunner gearbox and J80 MS3 mud tires along with the available racks. You can check out the states after it's fully upgraded. So let the race begin. All these trucks in low plus, all wheel drive and diff lock enabled. As we can see, TUZ is doing exceptionally well. Maybe because of its weight, uh, I think it's the lightest. And uh, for such muddy situations, it's it's the best off roader. Not very well uh, in handling, but yeah. for off roading it's the best it's already crossed the second line and uh, followed by scout 800 and chevy as you can see rezwani and hummer started uh, struggling in deep mud hummer is still little ahead than rezwani Rasmani do struggle in deep mud maybe because of its weight and uh, it's uh, not very good hitbox design as you can see TUZ had already completed and Rasmani is kind of stuck and yeah so now we switch to low gear and now it's again moving followed by i guess Chevy Yeah so second is Chevy and third is Scout 800 Now Hummer and Rezwani going neck to neck Hummer is still managing somehow with the low plus and I can see the red line Yeah, Hummer is also crossed. So it's uh, really disappointing to see the standalone DLC not even competing with the non-DLC scouts. Let's hope 
the developer will fix this scout in upcoming updates and make it worth buying as a standalone DLC. Till then, keep exploring and I'll see you guys really soon with the season 14 updates. Thanks for watching. Bye.